pencil. Sweezy. They say that a hero can save us. I'm not going to stand here and wait. As uh, the great band Nickelback once said. But uh, not only is Nickelback, you know, singing about Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, you know, he was also talking about me. Yes, folks. Uh, some of you may or are going to hear this for the first time. But I recently became a hero uh, to a bird. Now, I know a lot of you know that I, I've had a past with another bird in my life that died. And I wasn't going to let another bird die. At least, I wasn't going to kill it. Uh, so, the story today is going to be about how I saved a bird that was trapped inside of a uh, basement well window uh, area. Those of you who don't know what a basement well window is... I finally learned what the term is, but it's that, like, area. So if you're in, like, a basement, uh, there's basically, and you sit, there's a window in the basement. It's kind of like this well-type area. It's like a little down underground thing that, like, I guess water gets, uh, stuff gets into, you know, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, see, that's what that's called. I know a lot of you probably didn't know what that was called, uh, but now you do. And who says you can't learn things on Cancel Sweezy? No one has ever said that, ever. So... So we, so the, here's the story. It was a Saturday morning, uh, around that time. I hear, uh, this bird chirping nonstop. I'm like, well, this is great. You know, I, I look in the window in my room because I'm staying, I'm helping my mom out. So in the room I'm staying in is in the basement, which I like though. It's a lot cooler in the basement and, uh, cooler than like me. I'm cool, but also I sweat like a fucking pig and, uh, Right now I am too. I don't know if the vents are blocked up. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe the shirt is just not breathable. I don't know. Uh, anyways, so, so yeah, I saw a bird and it was just like chirping just nonstop. And I look at the window and I see it there and I'm like, oh, that's a bird. So like eventually it's going to fly away. So, you know, I, I go back to my work and, you know, I just go back to working. Uh, it's still there, still is there for the rest of the day. Uh, and by the time kind of like night goes around, like we're like, okay, we got to get rid of this. Uh, bird, because it's going to be really become a problem soon. Uh, so it was like dark out. So like I take my flashlight and uh, basically, basically also too, this is a wild animal. And uh, for those of you didn't know, uh, my dad died. We need to make a drinking game for Kansas Sweezy, where if I bring up my dad dying, then you uh, have to take a drink. Uh, but he died prions, which I think one of the things you can get prions from is from just like wild animals who have the disease. You may have to Google prions. I'm, I'm not. I'm not here to teach you about folded proteins in the brain. Uh, and so I'm always just like I'm hesitant to be touching and getting germs from ant wild animals now. And so I'm like trying to figure out how to get this thing out uh, without having to touch it at all because uh, something was going on with this bird. Because I would like I took like a. It was one of those, it's like this pole that you use to change light bulbs that are really high up into like a ceiling where you can't just like reach without like a ladder, you know, that we don't have to pull out a ladder to change a light bulb. One of those things. And so like what I would do is like I shine my flashlight at this well and then I like I gently like poke the bird and the bird would like run around down there. But it wasn't flying out. That's the weird thing. Like, usually these things would just like fly away and stuff like that. And so, like, you know, after, like, maybe, like, a half an hour trying, I'm, like, uh, it actually stopped chirping, so I was assuming it was, like, maybe it was sleeping. I don't I, I have no clue. I, and I couldn't see it anymore. It's pretty brown. Uh, uh, I guess I'll show a picture of it right here. This is the bird uh, that uh, that was in the window. I took a picture of it because I thought it would be fun to document the, the, uh, the adventure. Uh, this was before it started to annoy the shit out of me. Uh... And so, yeah, it's a, that's that's the bird. And we, so after, you know, I was, like, poking it, and it just wasn't flying. And so eventually I just gave up for the night. And it wasn't making noise, so I was like, well, at least I'll be able to sleep. You know, and I'm a pretty heavy sleeper already, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, and so then we get to, uh, to the next day, and it's like, it's still there. And I'm like, I have to get this bird out. So I came up with the coolest plan. Uh, I took a milk crate and a couple bungee cords. What I did was I created, like, basically I created it so, like, basically the milk crate was on, like, a rope. Think of the bungee cords as a rope. Uh, and I kind of, like, tilted it down so, like, the opening was on uh, the side, like, on the side so the bird could, like, easily just walk in because apparently he's having trouble flying. So 
basically I got that down and I eventually tricked it with the, the big pole I had to get in there and eventually I got it and I lifted it up and let it out and the bird uh, went away. It wasn't moving very much though. Like it moved, like it made it to our neighbor's yards. So my parents have a pretty long yard. So uh, I was able to, you know, I was able to get it to there. Uh, and so I, I saved a bird. I didn't kill the bird. So I just wanted to clarify, I didn't kill the bird. Uh, got into the milk crate and then it was set free and it, it was out alive and it was alive Walking around, I saw it hanging out under a tree. Uh, it doesn't look like it's moving too much. So we think the bird like was injured or sick or something like that. Um, and then a couple hours passed, and we saw the bird dead under the tree of our neighbor's tree. So we don't have to cle- We don't have to get rid of it. I mean, some animal is probably going to pick it up. Uh, but anyways, that bird is dead. So uh, f in the chat for that bird. Uh, I've been saying f in the chat for a lot of minor inconveniences, but um, yeah, I think. Trust me, it's that bird. I, I had a goal in mind. I was like, I'm not going to kill this bird. And I didn't kill the bird. It killed itself. Let's, let's keep that in mind. This bird killed itself. And we're going to live with that fact that this bird killed itself. So don't, don't at me on at the Shweezy anywhere. Okay? Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. Okay? Hey, you just finished one of the many, many highlights from Cancel Sweezy. We got plenty more on the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like what you just watched, go ahead and uh, smash that like button as well. Go subscribe for more so uh, we can teach you how to be a better human in our world. So, uh, yeah, stay awesome.